expression of no confidence in the Fine Gael Labour, Labour government comes in the wake of the, one of the most savage budgets in the history of this state. This week will see a reduction in child benefit payments, cuts in the back to school clothing and footwear allowance, and cuts to the respite care grant. This government is clearly anti children. More importantly, it is anti the ordinary man and woman on the street who is struggling to make ends meet. Attacking the poor and the vulnerable, introducing measures that increase inequality and poverty, and protecting the rich and affluent by refusing to introduce a wealth tax are by any standards the hallmark of a vicious and cruel state. When these same facts are pointed out in this House, the Taoiseach Enda Kenny has no defence. Instead, his only response is to resort to personal insult, def defamation and slander of my party's leader, Gerry Adams. But let me tell on Taoiseach, the Irish people are not fooled by such diversionary tactics. Indeed, they know only too well the lengths to which this government is prepared to go to defend its own proper and privilege, and more importantly, to protect the class interests of a rich and pampered minority of Irish society. On what basis, I might ask, has this government reserved for itself the right to become the political and moral conscious of the Irish people? The Taoiseach presides over a government that misled the Irish people. He presides over a government that has reneged on almost all of its election promises. He is the head of a party that has at its core a deep-rooted ideological belief that places the primacy of the market over the welfare and well-being of ordinary Irish men, women and children. So if there is an ethical, moral and political bankruptcy present in this House, it is to be found not in the Sinn Féin party, but in Fine Gael and its lackeys in government, the so-called Labour Party. The country is led by a puppet government that takes its instructions from the institutions of market capitalism. And let's not be under any illusions here. Fine Gael and Labour politicians, by virtue of the policies they are now implementing, are nothing more than heartless bureaucratic functionaries administering the Irish state in the interest of bondholders, speculators and European political elite. This government has betrayed the Irish people. It has betrayed its own election promises. In terms of a vision or a plan, it is morally and politically bankrupt. It has one and only one agenda, and that is to cling to power at all costs. To do this, it is willing to cut child benefit when the incomes of households with children are already falling further and faster. The same households that are three times more likely to be in debt arising from ordinary everyday living expenses than households without children. Yet, according to this government, if you are a family with children, then you are fair game and you will be penalised. Even worse, if you are a carer who works 24 hours a day, seven days a week, in the home, then in the eyes of this government, you are also fair game. What type of government, one must ask, would go after two of the most vulnerable groups in Irish society, children and carers? The answer is simple, a Fine Gael Labour government that has turned its back on the people who elected it. Just one minute. Here. A Fine Gael Labour government that is politically bankrupt and prepared to wage war on the most vulnerable and powerless groups in Irish society. In the coming months, this same government plans to introduce a tax on the family home. Indeed, it would appear that there are no depths to which this government will not sink when it comes to a tax on the living standards of the vulnerable and the overworked. In closing, I would call on this government to do, do at least one decent thing since, since it has come into power, and that is to reverse the proposed cuts to the carers' respite grant.